Hello everybody, this is some news about uh, France uh, from the French uh, Transhumanist Association. The last time I gave a presentation on the state of transhumanism about France was in 2018 and it was here where you are in Madrid uh, for Transvision 2018. Since uh, then, uh, well, like everywhere, there will has been uh, COVID-19 and the least we can say is that it, it had not helped us. As for everyone else, uh, all our events planned in real life have been cancelled, as well as all the events where our spokespersons were invited. Some have been replaced by on online events, but uh, that is only a, a small minority. We have having even more difficulty getting local groups to emerge. And in addition, our solicitation by the French-speaking media have dropped significantly. The subject of transhumanism, even if it's correlated to the vaccination, have been swallowed up by the tsunami of the pandemic. Nevertheless, in the midst of all this, we have some good news. Um, first, uh, almost surprisingly, uh, the number of our paid-up members has remained at the same level of about 100. We have been at this level for at least three years. The same seems to be true for the number of supporters who follow us on the networks. Furthermore, we have achieved a few things. In 2019, we moved to Tomorrow for, New, for Good event online, which we had originally planned in Paris. At the end of 2020 and beginning of 2021, we complete the drafting of the Viridian Declaration and we organize online international colloquium on the same themes of transhuman approaches to the environmental question in which several of you participated. In 2019, we were also received at the Wolf School in Paris, at the Summer University of the Social uh, Party, at the Ministry of Health and auditioned by the French Commission of, uh, for UNESCO. In 2021, I was again auditioned by the Comité Consultatif National d'Éthique, which is the highest authority in French bioethics. In general, in the public sphere, uh, we seem to notice that the most violent attacks have decreased and transhumanism is more often cited as a fact and little less as a risk. I can say that uh, thanks to Leonid Shuragin, our new delegate for international relations, uh, we have initiated monthly international coordination meetings that we hope will contribute to our common work. And uh, our leadership team has stabilized, and more importantly, the, the main task has been carried out by more people than before and in a more collective manner. Our publication and new newsletter remain regular on our website. We contribute to get about 20 appearances per year in various media. And since September 2020, we have established an excellent partnership with a very good futurist channel on YouTube, which is called The Flares in English, The Flares Channel. With them, we record one show per month uh, from there, from, since then. And now, in France, we have the prospect of the 2022 presidential election. In this perspective, a political movement has been created, but after several unsuccessful attempts, we have no, not managed to bring out a candidate of our own, so we will try to lobby the other candidate, and this is our actual main project. I thank you very much, and, and uh, I hope you have a, a nice day in, in Madrid. Bye-bye.